Today I want to talk about something that all of us uh, have in common. When we want to find the love of our lives and the laws of attraction um, help you out with that. Um, if you want to find the love of your life and first of all know what you want. It's all about picturing it in our minds first and playing the role. Self-confidence is everything, right? We need to love ourselves first before we can love anyone else and before other people can love us. When people feel our positive vibrations and they see that we're caring and loving people, they're attracted to it. When we put positivity out into the universe and we show love and compassion to others, it attracts better things into our lives. You're looking for that relationship out there, that perfect relationship. It's very, uh, really you're looking for your ideal uh, partner. First of all, you got to commit to your goal, right? You got to manifest. You got to commit to that goal. And you got to remember too. If you if you're looking for a loving, caring partner, you got to remember you got to be loving, caring yourself. And you got to make it be lovable yourself. Um, you got to let go of your past experiences and uh, emotions and regrets, and start to become a new, different uh, person. Um. Ask yourself what you want in a partner. You know what I mean? To, to be able to reach yourself. Ask yourself this. What are, what are the qualities you're looking for? Right? What are you looking for? Make sure to feel the love you want in a relationship within to, for yourself first before you're looking for someone else to love you, right? Um, it's... If you if you if 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 you uh, it's if you practice these by thinking positivity gratitude it comes a lot quicker attracting people into your life especially the love of your life it's if you want someone driven and motivated in life you need to be driven and motivated yourself if you're not right now already then I understand I've been in your shoes. But there's good news. You can change that overnight. Quickly. Or start to manifesting what you want in life. To become more successful. And to fine tune your machine. Um, you want to try to get rid of the fears you have. Put them off to the side. Fears of uh, and of rejection or whatever else, because the only way we get anywhere in life is when we conquer our fears. Okay, if there's an amazing woman out there that you want to that you want in your life, or if there's an amazing man out there that you want in your life, you got to just go for it. Great things happen when we go out on a limb and we go for it. Don't worry about the rejection, because most to be honest with you, most people aren't that mean just reject you outright like that but when you want something you gotta go for it you gotta ask confidence is huge if you don't have self-confidence you just gonna start building it up within your own head that doesn't mean that you're no less i used to not have any self-confidence i used to you know i i, I just didn't have it i mean where typically people go wrong when it comes to uh, relationships is um, seeking out relationships to fix yourself or to, um, to fix your insecurities or you're lonely. Um, but you're in, a lot of times, sometimes people are not ready to be in a relationship yet. But the, our insecurities come up and it, uh, you know, it, we think that that uh, getting a relationship is going to fix us, but 
the biggest thing is making sure we take care of ourselves first. We learn to love ourselves first and then everything else falls in line with the universe. What we think is going to happen is going to happen. you got to convince yourself by practicing mindfulness that you can do it, right? Because there's no, trust me, um, if there's a will, there's a way. For every beautiful woman out there, there's a very lonely woman. Because they don't get hit on a lot because guys are afraid, right? Just like attractive men. I mean, you know, attractive men out there, lonely. Uh, but people are, you know, sometimes more afraid too. And, so, but looks are not everything. This is very important to remember too. Looks are not everything. The soul, the personality, um, having empathy, and love in your heart attracts just as much as looks. You know, a personality is huge. Um, and stop judging yourself. Okay? We're all beautiful in our own ways. And we can all do whatever we put our minds to. Um, you have to aff affirm in yourself what your hopes and dreams are in life. If you want to, if you're in a good place to get in a relationship later, now you can affirm to yourself, say to yourself out loud in your mind what you want, who you want, and you got to project positivity and positive vibes towards this person and an open, come at it with an open heart and move, right? You need to, it, it, the universe reacts to our thoughts and our feelings and our vibrations. So if you're able to approach some uh, someone with positive, open heart, you know, uh, open mind, uh, the, uh, the potential for uh, success is highly um, likely. Um, if you're able to keep your nerves under control approaching someone uh, and you're able to be real with them. When you're being real with someone, they know it. Uh, women, uh, people, um, they react to positivity and positive vibes and kindness. Um, people don't really, most of the time, like hate. And it's not really a turn on for most people. Um, Make sure you feel the love you want in a relationship that you're desired for it exists in your life. Make sure that you feel the love for yourself before you want to have a successful desired relationship and find your partner for life. Because if not, the relationship is not going to work. It's not going to work. It's important too, it doesn't matter what you look like you come from what your background is you can do whatever you want you can get whatever you want you like you can get whatever partner you want okay if you just like i said if you want someone who has desires for life who's passionate uh has empathy is caring loving um make sure you have these qualities some of these qualities qualities too okay because it works both ways and a lot of times people try to do this by trying to build in voids, like I was saying earlier, when it comes to, you know, being lost in life, thinking a relationship's going to fix that. It doesn't work that way. Um, unfortunately, I see it a lot. People get into relationships just kind of try to fix themselves and be happier, and it doesn't work. It's good maybe for a honeymoon phase for a month or two, maybe, but it doesn't work that way. It's, the, you know, the good news is that you can practice in mindfulness and being more confident and it works really quick. I'll be honest with you, it took me 90 days to perfect it. Um, perfect it mean uh, to be able to uh, project positivity uh, and good vibes out to other people. And now I'm able to adapt to any situation, um, but that took a lot longer than 90 days. Upward. I am not speaking to you trying to aggregate from an expert, but um, if you listen to me on manifesting uh, mindfulness and stuff, your life will be changed and transformed. Um, the law of attraction simply says that you attract into your life whatever you think about. Your dominant thoughts will find a way to manifest. Meaning, 
Our minds and what we think are everything. What you want, manifest it in your mind first. You'll get it. It's all about projecting out to the world what we're thinking and doing and what we want. If you simply remember to stay by those principles, the law of attraction simply says, again, that we attract into our life what we imagine and think. So start thinking more positive. Better things will happen. You'll find the love of you. I hope you subscribe. I uh, hope everyone has a great day. Uh, remember, practicing mindfulness, it's, 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 the, it's it. It's it, baby. Uh, I'm having a good day. I hope everyone else does. Um, go for your dreams. Go for your dreams. Make sure you feel the love you want in a relationship before you desire that, before that desired relationship takes place. I'm going to leave you that last thought. Please subscribe.